Well, hello there, my YouTube fam. It is me, Crystal, doing another video. Um, as y'all can see, I'm showing y'all some fish tanks in front of me. And that's because I'm going to give you a, a guys a full update on how my fish tanks are doing. So, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, right here, as you can see, this was my brackish water tank. But, unfortunately, when it was a brackish water, the brackish water kind of crashed. I kept losing fish, so I finally gave up on on brackish water and this I had now turned this into a freshwater tank and those are the only two that survived the whole brackish water tank the one molly and the one platy and guess what I put in there guys with them the bed of fish that I won from um Aquashella Chicago I done put one of my fish in there and that fish seems to be loving it oh I wish I had better lighting in here man I feel like it's just blurry yeah, let me try to there. Yep, yeah, there's a close up of my fish. Oh yeah, he's living the best life, and I am gonna do more stuff to this tank. I'm buying them. I'm buying them. I want to plant, put plants in there a little bit, but since it's a warm water tank, it might kind of melt them. But I might go ahead and try it anyway. Okay, then down here we got little daddy. He's still doing good, swimming around like nobody's business. He's got the. I just fed I just fed these guys today, so he's definitely got worms in there. But yeah, he's doing good. Since their eyes on top of their head, it takes them a while to get to their food, but and eventually they do get to them. And as you can see, he's around. He's looking for them right now. So there he is, and he's doing fine as well. Okay, in my kitchen here, I got my other bed of fish that I want from Akashella. Um, I got this one in the, um, gosh, still in the same spot right now. Until future, until I get some upgrades in the future to put them in a bigger one. But right now, he seems to be doing good in here with this banana plant. And I turned the heat light off for the sake of the video. And I only keep it on so many times a day anyway. So, yeah. And the banana plant is growing really well in here with this fish. So, so that is doing good as well. I'm super stoked about that. Okay, right here I've got my Achilles fish tank. Which I've got a... Oh, the crayfish is the center of attention right now. Look at him or her. That's a Mexican crayfish. Mini many sized crayfish they do not get that big and I got some and I got a bunch of plants that are really thriving in this fish tank because this is a cooler water fish tank and that's what pretty much everything in here prefer cooler water but let me see there's 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 two of the Achilles back there they're so small and fast it's hard to keep keep up with them and that is also uh I also got some gosh what do you call those golden mystery snails one right there and then, of course, I still got the rabbit snails in there, which they've been in here for a long time. So I'm kind of guessing they got a really they got a good lifespan, which I'm super stoked about that. And a bunch of plants. And I do have a I still have a shrimp in here somewhere. He was swimming around earlier, but I don't know where it went. So, yeah, but there's a crayfish. Yep, I definitely got a ghost shrimp in there as well. I saw him early. I saw I saw it earlier. I don't know where it went. They they hide pretty good, but yeah, that is my killie fish tank. And there's a killie. There's a killie back there. I've got three killie fish in here. And oh, there's two right there. The male, the one male looks a little bit more colorful than the females, but that's just that's just the way it goes. Okay, this is my other bed of fish tank. Mr. Crown living here. He actually came from PetSmart. I had him for quite a while, and he seemed to be doing really well in this fish tank. Uh, this is a minimum for a better 2.5, although I heard nowadays it's 5-gallon. But my fish seem to be doing ha be doing well, and he's in here by himself with two near right snails. So there you go. And I do need to put more water in these today. I'll probably do that right after I'm done doing this video, but that is a beautiful red crown betta fish and he's just the cutest little thing <laughs> okay then over here i've got my baby african clog frogs they are getting pretty big too and i think i gave them a worm for the first time and then i don't think i see the worm in there anymore so i'm pretty sure they ate it 
And let me see if I get a better picture inside. They're still a little skittish, so. Oh, and it's kind of dirty in here, so I do definitely need to clean it out. Okay, I got a male and female in here, and they are both African cough crocs, and one day they will be joining Little Daddy when the time is right. And like I said, they are so skittish, so I don't know how good of a picture I'm going to get with these guys. And plus, I need to clean this tank out, too, as well, which i kind of been lazy with, but I would definitely get it out. I would definitely try to clean it out today because these guys are very hardy. And again, there is a male and female in that tank. African clog frog, that is. Okay, YouTube fam, I am going to end the video right here with the sea monkeys, which are doing really good. They do qualify because they are in aquariums, and um, this produces its own oxygen with, the, um, with their favorite food, algae. Algae and sun bring oxygen into this tank, so that's how they are surviving. And if I can open this, I might can show you a better picture of them. I don't know. Because we ain't got no sunshine right now. We did earlier, but right now we don't. Yeah, there they go. I had to... I I had the two stuck together earlier, but I guess they got loose now. Okay, I'm going to end the video here, YouTube fam. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on how all my fish tanks are doing. Um, please, if you like these type of videos, please give me a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. I would love to have you. Until the next one, have yourselves a blessed day. And may God bless you. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.